I know as myself, I'm a teacher, and this is where I go when I have a bad day just to chill out and relax. After discovering the benefits herself, Laura Bookbinder is helping others find a relaxing and helpful hobby. Like anybody who's sitting there, if they want to surrender a dog, they're never going to be told no. She's the volunteer orientation instructor at Irving's Animal Care Campus and trains the people interested in helping out here. What we do is we acquaint them with both the DFW Humane Society and Irving Animal Services, their policies. We give them a tour, we teach them how to handle cats and dogs here. So what does it take to become a volunteer? The process is pretty simple, actually. After registering online and paying a small fee, those interested are required to complete an orientation. Once they have this four-hour class, they are able to come in and volunteer. Hours are flexible, and a little goes a long way. Dogs need to be walked, and even just being with people helps them out. Socialized animals have a better chance at being adopted. I adopted a dog from DFW Humane Society who was here 15 months. I've had him for three years now. And for a dog that was locked up in a cage that long, he was very socialized. It, he was probably one of the easiest dogs I ever had. And I have to attribute that to the volunteers. And you can bet people are willing to take time out of their day to care for these precious animals, which can also turn into a bonding experience for families. We decided to volunteer. We homeschool during the day, so um, it's a good opportunity for Jackson to get out in the public and socialize. And we have one dog, and that's all we can handle in our home, so it's a chance to satisfy the urge of wanting puppies and kittens but not bringing them home. I've always seen um, commercials and TV shows about people volunteering and taking care of animals. I'm like, hey, I want to do that. I would like to work with some of the sick animals, help them feel better. While the majority of volunteers come out to help the animals, as it turns out, the animals end up helping the volunteers. I think they become more compassionate and I think you appreciate what the shelter staff does because the shelter has a negative image just because it is an animal shelter but really um, there is not one person in this building whether it's a volunteer or uh, somebody who works here who doesn't have a love for animals. Yep it's pretty safe to say these animals are in caring hands. Delila Thomas for City Source.